Mad Max. All jazzed up. Elisa Rocio lights up when looking at Halloween pictures of her young son, Max. He's four years old. Elisa also loves to see Max's brother, Leo, who's nine, smile when he sees Barney. What Elisa doesn't like is when her daily activities are made more difficult when someone takes a disabled parking space or part of it that doesn't belong to them. She channeled her frustration to the state capitol and to the office of Assemblymember Marc Dissonnier. She was picked in his contest, There Ought to Be a Law. Actually, it was kind of a surprise. Um, it, was, it was really amazing. Um, my girlfriend Betsy and I, we said, well, let's find a, a constructive outlet for our frustration. I said, well, I'm going to write a letter and see what happens. What happened was that her idea became Assembly Bill 1531, and it was signed into law. She has a van. She has to take an elevator down to get her two kids out of the car. Well, frequently people park in this area because they see the blue and they know that that's handicapped, but they don't identify the white, what's called crosshatch area, as being no parking as the blue is, even though they have this no parking on it. The new law also increases the fines. The first violation ranges from $250 to $500. The second time, the fine can go up to $750 and thereafter up to $1,000. Up here, instead of just the handicap sign, there will be a sign that says it's illegal to park here and what the fines are because what the bill does is for people who continue to park and have repeat offenses, the penalties go up. Um, so it codifies this, it'll make it uniform across the state and it will also make it more explicit that the fines have gone up. So hopefully that will deter, deter people from actually using these uh, spaces that are designed for disabled people. I just couldn't believe the time and effort that you know he was willing to take just on a constituent concern, um, but uh, you know, just the fact that there's so many people that could benefit from it, um, you know, that there was a whole community that he was reaching out to was, was really important to us. This report was produced by the Speaker's Office of Member Services.